everyone! Today I'm going to do an unboxing for my Ipsy box. Uh, this month's theme is glitter. I don't know exactly what the whole thing is. Let me see. But this is for November. Let's see, it says Girl Meets Glitter. Life is short, wear glitter. So this is what the card looks like that came in it. And on the back, there's nothing really much there. So one thing I really wish that Ipsy would do is I wish that they would have the information card that just tells you just something about the product, um, the retail value, maybe a little bit about it, but I thought they used to do that. I'm not quite sure, but I need to pull out my products, and I know like, you can Google it or find out in the long run, but I just like having it at my fingertips. So this is what the bag looks like. It's really glittery. Um, I like their, their bags that they had during the summer where they were like choosing different artists and um, I thought that was really cool. The last couple ones, the bag has felt really um, like plasticky and kind of cheap, so I'm not really sure what I'll use this for. Oh, I wonder if they linked it with Forever 21, because inside the bag it says Forever 21 Cosmetics for Ipsy. So, that's what it looks like. But none of these products are from Forever 21, and I don't think they carry any of them. But anyways, getting into the products. The first item I'm going to pull out, and I've already tried this one on, and I really like it. It's the Mega Stick Balm Stain from Wet n Wild. And this is something that I would normally not wear. Um, it's called Lady in the Vamp. Let me show you the color. And I like it that it twists, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. So this is what it looks like. And I'll do a swap of it. And I like it that it's really moisturizing. Um, these have been really popular with like CoverGirl, L'Oreal, they all have their own version. And I wouldn't have thought about giving Wet n Wild a try. I haven't used any of their lip products in years, but I actually really like this color. And it work, It feels just as good as the other um, ones that are a little bit more expensive. So, we'll see how long it lasts. But... So far, I really do like that. Um, the next item I have is from Tarte. That's what the packaging looks like. And I have no idea what this is. Okay, so, um, Mar Maracuja oil? I have no idea. Okay, let me see the directions. Okay, at night, apply two to three drops of this oil in your hands, rub them together, and pat on clean dry skin on your face and your neck. This powerful multitasking elixir can also be used to help soften cuticles, tame flyaways, condition split ends, and hydrate dry skin. So it seems like you can just do a little bit of everything. I've never even heard of it. I had no idea that Tarte even made this. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is super cute, I think. And take a look at this top part. So when you open this up, I kind of think this is cool. So it's one of those um, like dispensers, but it kind of holds it in there. Let's spill it, and then you tap on this on the top part, and it drops it. So is that gonna quash it again? Oh gosh, let me see what it smells like. I've never even heard of this oil, so yeah, I I know I'm butchering it. Mara Kuja oil, I guess. Oh, very oily. Okay, so I'm gonna know. Can you see my skin? It's like super oily. It doesn't have a smell really to it. But that'd just be weird on your face because that was only two drops and it said to use between two and three. So, I mean, let me rub it in. Yeah, I definitely, it says do it at night. I can see why. It kind of makes your skin look oily, but I guess I'll see how it looks um, when I wake up. And then I have three more items. So this is Be A Bombshell, the packaging. The color is submissive and it's eye base. I know a lot of people have issues with Be A Bombshell, so I need to do some research why. Um, I don't know if it's like by where they're made or what the deal is, but everything I've gotten from them before has been uh, pretty decent. So this is a eye base. I've actually heard good things about this particular product from Be A Bombshell, so that's good. So let me... I don't really use an eye base when I'm putting on my eyeshadows, but so I did maybe put just a little bit too much on. So I don't know if you can see. This offers a very nice base 
glittery tone. This is what it looks like in the packaging. So not a bad product. I'll try to maybe do some more eye makeup and actually get some use out of it. The next item I have is from Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argan Oil. It is a hairspray. This is what it looks like. And it'll be a good travel size. Let me see how this works. I'm just gonna. I know I should probably do it with my hair. So it smells good. Oh, it actually smells really good. And it doesn't feel stiff on my hair. So I can see how well it does at actually holding. Because I don't feel like any kind of hairspray stickiness. And it says it's an ultra hold, fast drying, infused with um, keratin. So I don't know, but it smells great. Kind of, and the worst smells worse. I can just use it as a um, hair freshener because it really does smell awesome. But yeah, no, I don't feel a hold. So I, I'm gonna try it with my hair up and see how it holds up. But I mean, right now it's not hard or crunchy at all. But yeah, the smell is great on this. And then the last item I have is from Elizabeth Mott, and this is called You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And the color of this one is glitter glitterati I don't know so the packaging is super cute that's weird you just kind of see my reflection in that anyways um this is fine yeah, let me pull this bad boy out so this is kind of cute it's kind, it's kind of dizzy but definitely cute it says you're so fine has a color on here kind of looks like a little candy cane so I don't use liquid I oh I have it backwards okay so this is the wand, and this is the, where the eyeliner is. And so it is super duper fine. Look how small that is. I don't use liquid eyeliner, so I might just give this away to somebody who would actually get some use out of it. Um, it looks like it's black with like a little bit of glitter. Ooh, kind of tickles my skin. So this is what it looks like. Oh, terrible. So it is a really, really tiny, tiny fine point eyeliner. And then let me see how long it takes to dry. But you can definitely see that there's little glitter pieces in there, which I don't know if you can tell by the camera. So overall, um, I like my Ipsy bag that I got this month. There's a lot of new products that I would never try before. And that's the reason I got Ipsy. Um, anyways, just, just to try a whole bunch of new products. So actually everything I got today is new. I'm extremely intrigued about this guy. So this one I would definitely start using in my beauty routine and see what it does for me. You know what, let me read and see what it's supposed to do for you. Um, so in six weeks, consumers, um, they did a study and 96% saw an overall visible improvement in skin. 94 agreed skin improved, renewed and rejuvenated. 90% uh, agreed to fine lines and wrinkles looked visibly reduced. So it seems like it has a lot of great benefits. So I would definitely try it on my face because uh, I'd probably get the most benefit from that. But if it doesn't work on my skin or it kind of doesn't isn't compatible, I can use it for my hair or my nails or dry skin. So we'll like say you can do it for anything, but I just like the packaging a lot too. So I wish Ipsy would do their information card and tell you how much a full size is because I have a feeling something like this might be a little bit pricey. But thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a good weekend.